for that two short video game review. Several weeks after the first infection, we meet our four survivors on the rooftop of a hotel, looking at the helicopters that were supposed to be rescuing them. Yes, over the course of this, which has more of a story and continuity than the first one, you will see the increase in government response to the threat of the, the green flu. And this one is, in all ways, a sequel. It, it complements and adds to the first. It isn't just a few things here and there. It is a different game, but using the it's, it's in the same world as the first one. There are more items, so it's not just finding a health pack, it's deciding if you want a health pack, a defibrillator, or a a pack of special ammunition which you can put down at any time and all four survivors can grab a single clip of each which might mean the the difference between life or death against a tank for example this is set in the south and you can very much feel it the music the locations very southern and yeah it has more personality than the first one it uses effects to hinder and you know block progression and forces players to think on their feet and where the first one really was had more of a tendency to just block the the player's path with like a vehicle or a door that was broken or the like in this for example once you move through downwards through this hotel and out the front door that hotel's on fire so there are, you, you have to maneuver around where the fire is and you have to try to see the zombies through the fog, the smoke from this fire, and there's fire, there's smoke. And yeah, it's, there's also a, a wonderful campaign called Hard Rain where literally you start at a rescue vehicle but it needs gas. So you spend half this campaign moving through the growing you know, it starts as just unpleasant rain and grows into a full-fledged thunderstorm. And once you've gotten the gas, you have to move all the way back through areas that you've already been through, but now the, the rain and the thunder is making it difficult to tell where the zombies are. It's making it difficult to navigate. And it's, it's just, it's really tense and just soaked in atmosphere. This one has the, the increase in story still doesn't take the... It, it doesn't create a too linear experience at all. The randomization is still very much present and the upgraded AI director, the 2.0 version, will change a number of things based on what the players are or aren't doing. There are three new special infected, all of which complement the ones that were there before, including one that's both strong and fast, but also, you know, it's not tremendously armored. One that has a ranged attack which causes splash damage, and one that can literally take control of the survivor it hops on, and the survivor can fight back. But it's, it's a ton of fun for both parties. And the these very much cover the few gaps that there were. The, the survivors can no longer just safely camp. There are additions to crescendo events, there are... The, the weapon types remain, but every weapon type now has two weapons within that, and it's more common to find a new weapon type or a new weapon than it is to find an ammo pile, so you might be giving up the special ammo or the laser sight which you found along the way and the, the there is one new multiplayer mode called scavenge wherein the survivors have to gather 21 gas tanks and pour them into a generator while the special infected team have to prevent them from doing so perhaps even destroying some of the gas cans which is possible once they've been picked up and the, it's timed, meaning that the survivors have to hurry, whereas the special infected can just prevent and slow down the survivors 
because they only get more time by pouring gas into the generator and if their time runs out, the teams will swap. Just in always, it's a, in nearly always, it's an improvement on the first. This also adds melee weaponry, which forces you to make the choice between the ranged pistols, which do have to reload, or the highly effective melee weapons, which might risk you getting surrounded, because there is no ranged attack with them. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.